is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a room tour slash gaming setup so i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do make sure to drop a like with that being said let's get straight into the video so starting off uh we come in my room there's my bed right next to my bed i have a nightstand uh, i have a lamp a uh, control for breathe and a clock that's not even working and then moving on from my bed to the other side of my room we have a lamp this is an ikea lamp uh, it has a smart bulb, so what that means I could control the bulb with my phone. So I could change the colors, make it brighter. So that's cool. And then moving on to the TV, it's just like a 40 inch TV. It's like basic, it's like a six year old TV. And it has a light strip right behind it to make it look cool. And then we have another IKEA lamp with a smart bulb as well. And now moving on to the setup. All right, so we're gonna start off with the chair. So the chair is from Amazon. Uh, it's not a DX Racer. Or... It was cheap, so that's the reason I got it. I will be getting a DX Racer or GT Omega. I don't know which one yet, so let me know in the comment section which one should I get. Anyways, moving on to what's on the desk. Uh, the microphone, we have the Rode NT-USB mic. And holding it up is the newer boom arm. So this mic is, you know, a good mic. I upgraded from the Blue Snowball. You can really tell the difference. But anyways, moving on to what's on the desk. We have an extended mouse pad. And then we have the Logitech MX Master Mouse. So this is a very good mouse. I highly recommend this one for editing if you edit a lot and stuff. Anyways, moving on to the keyboard, we have the Corsair K55 keyboard. It's not mechanical. I just got it because it was cheap and because it has nice lights. So that's the only reason I got it. So moving on to the monitor, we have a BenQ 2 millisecond response time monitor. I usually use this one to game. Uh, I use my PlayStation 4 or my Xbox on it and I use it as a second monitor so it's a good monitor and it's pretty cheap as well so now moving on to my main monitor we have the Dell UltraSharp monitor it has an IPS panel so this is where I do all my editing and edit photos and stuff because like I feel like the colors are more I don't know there you can tell the difference like between the monitors so I really like this one but anyways moving on to what's powering up this whole setup is the Alienware R13 I believe uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to give me shit because I have an Alienware. I got it last year when I didn't know anything about PC parts or anything about PCs. Anyways, uh, I will be building my PC in a couple months, so be on the lookout for an update. Moving on to what's on the drawers, we have just a mess in there. You know, I just have random stuff. I have some cable management stuff. And then I have some headphones, an Xbox One controller, some more wires. And I got like a iPhone box, uh, another keyboard, some video games. And then under the desk, this is how it looks under the desk. So my cable management is not the best, but I did try. So, I mean, it looks way better than it did before. But anyways, moving on to right next to my desk, we have the Kia drawer. But anyways, on top of it, we have the Xbox One and the PS4. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys didn't, make sure to smash that like button. And yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one.